Mm-hmm. Oh, live now, here we are. It's awake. Seemingly. John Gino. Hi Mike. Hello, sir. How are you? How are you, John? How are you? What's going on this evening? Oh. Sounds a bit slow for some reason. It is slow, I think. I don't know. Um, hi John, John says I'm fine. Just browsing. Good man. We like to browse. Oh, oh shit. <clears throat> um, have you played with the mist? says John. Um, no, I haven't, sir. I haven't had a chance to play with the mist yet. I did, uh, I did think about getting a mist, but I never, never got around to it. Glenson, hello, emulation night. Yeah, it is, it is, um, Glenson. Look, TV, will you turn down? Why is it so loud? Bloody deafening me. Bloody thing. How do you jump? Oh my god, this music's irritating. Yeah, swines. Um, John Gino. Bought one back and it's great for 8-bit stuff, especially C64. Not try the Amiga though. Okay. That'd be interesting to see how it performs on the Amiga. Uh, this, um, the, the Amiga isn't a... FPGA, it's a, an arm board. I can't play that, the music's irritating me. Um, it's an arm board, a uh, pie ish, although not a pie, it's a different make of board. Um, whose name I forget, to be honest. Oop, launch. Please wait, loading, please wait, loading, loading, please wait. Select your track. It's always off road. Oh, yeah. Select, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oop. Oop. Which, uh, which version of this had the enormous sprite? Was it the um, C64 version? Or was it the Spectrum? Might have been the Spectrum, actually. One of them had a ginormous buggy in the middle of the screen. I think it was the humble Spectrum, to be honest. What, what gate do I need? Purple? Blue? Oh, I don't know. Time? Time, gentlemen, please. Oh, come on. Oh, oh, come on. Just a gentle nudge. Oh, shit. Um, to be honest, I quite like playing um, ADFs on this thing. It, um, it speeds up floppy loading, so the ADFs load at um, a higher speed than they would originally, which is quite nice. Okay, that works a treat. 
That works lovely, lovely. Okay, what do we got? Cannon fodder cracked, is it? Ooh, I've got two cannon fodders. Clear one of them don't work. Let's try that one. Uh oh. Obviously the guys would just be watching Robocop when this was made. Um. Uphold the public trust. Press left mouse button. Okay. Network of Asia. Well, I've never ever seen that intro before. Uh, do you have a mouse and keyboard today? I do, Glenson, yeah. Um, but they're not plugged in. I'm hoping to play some of the simplistic games, so I don't need a don't need a keyboard, I hope. Now this is a game I remember buying from the market. On copied discs, and I think it was a pound a disc. What's Canon for? Is it three discs? So it was um, three pounds. That would have been a Sunday, I imagine. Sunday market. Happy days. Please insert two. Oh, I did this yesterday, didn't I? Um... Uh, this swap. Yeah, it didn't seem to want to do it, did it? As I remember. There is a knack, apparently, to doing this. Clearly, I don't know what the knack is, so I shan't bother with that. Okay, what else we got? Now, when I said yesterday there was a shooting game um, that I was trying to think of, this was it, Capone. It was pretty dreadful. But I actually hired this game from the Matrix Computer Club, would you believe, in about 1989. And you could, it was a mail order um, company, and you could hire a game for, I think it was a week, and you had to post it back, and they had to get the game back within so many days, or they charged you late fees. What's that red light blinking for? What does that mean? A blinker. Don't know what that means. Commando. Blimey. Um, yeah, so that was Chicago 90. 1989 Commando. But yeah, like I said, I've downloaded a few demos and we'll, we'll pop a few demos on. I'm not sure if they're AGA or ECS OCS ones, but we'll soon see. If it throws a wobbly, it must mean they're AGA. Come on, floppy disk loader, get on with it. Making me out to be a fibber when I say it loads fast. Sounds like a spectrum loading. I thought it was decrunching then, Glenson. Uh, how does it play Pong? Do you know, funnily enough, funnily enough, Oh, I'm getting distracted now. Funnily enough, I do have Pong. What's Pong called? Arkanoid. I know that... Um, oh, I think I put it on. I did, there we go. Um, put this on for... Ooh. Ooh. 
No. Oh, it's too fast. I don't know what that means. No, no. Don't mind. Got a keyboard plug in anyway. Is it mouse? Oh God! A game by Imagine. Imagine play the game. We expect great things from you, says John. John, it could well be a long video as I complete the game. Bob. Oh, it is mouse. If you've got any plans for the rest of the evening, guys, cancel them. This could be a five-hour stream. Well, it won't. It'll be five minutes before I get bored. Where's all my boosts and power-ups? Oh, shit. Where's my machine guns and shields and all kinds of stuff? Oh, God. Glenson, don't be laughing. You should have picked Unlimited Lives, says John. Don't need them, John. Oh, there we go. Here's a fast one. Oh, balls. That was a... That was in. The ball was in, man. I can't play this. I'm tired. My eyesight's slow. My reactions are fast. My eyes are slow. Ooh. Is it... Um... Oh, there we go. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh, balls. Game over. Good. Bloody game. Go, Mike. Go, to the Glens. <laughs> no, I don't want to play again. Enough off. Right. Okay, let's go for some demos then. I can drink my tea in peace. Uh, I'm not sure how this thing accesses... Um, Folders. Okay, hidden files. Lots of hidden files. Yeah, there is a folder called da -da 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 Demo. Demo, but it's not on there. Oh, I wonder if it can't access folders, which would be a bit of a pain. Come on, you must be able to. Uh, oh, these are folders. There we go. Demo. Got there in the end. Um, that's what she said. The ball was in. Mm. Okay. 3D Demo 2. Where's 3D Demo 1? Anyway. Let's have a look. If it bombs out, it will need... Uh, oh, Exception. Does that mean it's AGA? Might be AGA. Let's switch over to AGA. John Gino, from what I remember, you were good at ghosts, ghosts and uh, ghouls and ghosts. Uh, from what I remember, I wasn't particularly good at ghosts and ghosts. Ghosts and goblins is one of my favourite games that I can't do, and it irritates me hugely that I can't do it. I've played it for hours and hours uh, one evening, and the furthest I got was level two somewhere, much to my mahoosive annoyance. I can't help being useless at games, it's just the way I am. That's just the way it is. Even back in the day, I used to play strategy games and adventure games, because I was far more interested in them than I am uh, action games. Even now. Uh, supports. Oh no. Ooh. Don't like that, does it? Don't like it. Okay. Let's try that. Whatever that is.
slope. I can't read it if it's backwards. I can barely read it if it's forwards. Never mind backwards. Glenson, the Amiga is a bit disappointing. They are Amiga. Well, don't forget it's emulation, Glenson. There are going to be issues. I mean, let's face it. In all fairness, if you had an Amiga 1200, there were things that wouldn't run. And if you had an Amiga 500, there were lots of things that wouldn't run. Um, is still in beta, 0 0.9 I think it is. Uh, John Gino asks, what's the going rate for an Amiga? Well an Amiga with a floppy disk drive, an Amiga reading floppy disk, is quite expensive, it's 170 euros with a 3D printed case, some custom hardware and a PC floppy drive. It comes with a power pack and a game controller. But there is a cheaper mini one and the mini one obviously doesn't come with a disk drive I think it's a hundred euros or so um, but if you go to just type in Armiga into Google and it'll come up I don't know if it's Project Armiga or something like that well that runs alright I'm being harsh it runs okay crash well I hope not J oh you give me a chance to read them That's a sample of Crazy Cars, I think. Crazy Cars 3, Titus. Sure is. Uh, so compared to the Mist, it's cheaper, but the Mist does more. Uh, yeah, the Mist has got more RAM options, hasn't it? This, this emulates an Amiga 1200 base unit, and it emulates an Amiga 500 with one meg. Now whether that's 5 chip RAM, 5 chip, 5 meg chip, or 1 meg fast RAM, I don't know, without looking to be honest. I would imagine it's 5 meg slow RAM and 5 meg chip. Having said that, there's no real, I don't know how much RAM the actual board has. Uh, third, Glenton says, 30 years newer CP, CPU and it can't emulate an old 6800. We have not achieved much in 30 years. <laughs> uh, John Gino, is it memory expandable? I don't think the board is, no. It's, it's a Pi-esque type board with a GPIO uh, and all the, cu the custom hardware for the disk drive is connected to the GPIO. Um, but I see no reason. I mean, I don't know what RAM the board has, but it'll be at least a gigabyte or two. There's no reason why it couldn't emulate an Amiga with more RAM. I think it's purely done. It's purely done for, um, I suppose, uh, just to make it. It's supposed to be an Amiga 500, i.e., an emulation of an Amiga 500 which to most people is an Amiga 500 with 512k RAM stuck in it. So, who knows what's around the corner. Like I say, the software is still beta. I don't remember this demo at all. Let's have something on we know. Let's have Enigma, that sounds familiar. Oh, not this one. Tit. Um, launch. 
Oh yeah, I remember that. This is what I used to test my Amigas with when I recapped them or did repairs. I was so used to watching this demo that I knew, I, I used to know it frame by frame. I don't now, I've forgotten, but I used to do. Well, the sound is spot on. Yeah, the sound is spot on. Well, how about that? A sh sh Starfield in a lousy border. Ain't that something, folks? But let's... Oh, God, it's far too fast for my, for my old eyes to read. Okay, let's have a look at um, Desert Dreams. Sure, I noticed that somewhere. Exile. Do I remember Exile? Let's have a quick look. Sounds familiar. Or is it? Or is there a game called Exile? Perhaps it's the game. I don't know. Ooh, I don't seem to do much of anything. Reflex. Oh yeah, I remember that. Desert. There we go. Oh, I didn't know it was on two discs. PD, this demonstration mustn't by any means be sold to gain profit. One megabyte found and allocated. DFO and DF1. If it is possible, insert disk 2 into DF1. Hmm. Uh, Glenson, Windows 95 could, do, could not do borders. <laughs> Don't make fun of Microsoft, it's very difficult to do things. Where's my camera keep it all focusing? Pack it in. We don't like that. That should be doing something. Hideous Mutant Freaks. A bit harsh. RSI Mega Demo. Oh, yeah. Yes, that was the second. And now, Rexector presents the TCC design. Mega Demo. Cool. It's uh, going to be a very, very big hit. hit, hit, hit. <laughs>
this probably impressed me hugely back in the day. I'm not too sure it impresses me that much now, to be honest. Oh, shit. Cancel. Oh, is that all I've got in demo land? Desert, desert dreams. Mobile destination unknown. Destination unknown. Glenson love the MIG sound. Yeah. This pan pipe type sound really does take me back to the MIG. PS2 startup. Was it the PS2? John Gino. Cygnosis. What is? What's what Cygnosis? Oh, Cygnosis esque. Okay. Sixteen eight one five. Are those ACA twelve twenty one accelerators worth it for the price? Um, it depends what the price is. What are they currently go for? Going for? John Gino, I didn't realise it till the other day that the PS two blocks got bigger the more games you played. Yes, they did. Yep, absolutely. I didn't know that. Someone told me years later. I never knew at the time. That's a lot of bloody folder foldering. Yeah, I don't know what the ACA um, 1221 goes for, to be honest. Let me just look at the specs. Oh, shit, just dropped my phone. It's the upgradable one, isn't it? The 1221. You can buy it and then upgrade it. It's unlockable. So it is a 68020 at 16 megahertz with 9 megabyte of RAM, expandable to 1733 or 64 or 63 megabyte. Uh, speed is upgradable from 9 to 17 megahertz, and overclocking from 21 to 28 at extra cost. Okay. Uh, 73 euros. Is that what it is? Oh yeah, 73 pounds. Uh, 73 pounds, not euros, yeah. Um, is it worth it? Is it worth it? God, what a loaded question that is. Is it worth it? 
depends on what you want to do. If you want to play WHD load games and just have a speedier workbench, then yes, it is worth it. If you want to run some of the more interesting demos and, uh, and bigger, more advanced programs, or even Doom, then no, it's not worth it. Because you need at least a very fast O30. Um, but if you want a WHD load and a fast workbench, then yes, it's a cheap way of doing it. Go for it. Um, and you can even stick with a 9 megabyte of RAM and it'll do everything you want it to do. So yeah, it's worth it. But like I say, if you want to run um, a heavier workbench, let's say, workbench 3.5, 3.9, then it might not really be quick enough. But for 73 pounds, that's not a bad price. Cool, that's a, um, that's a sudden ending. Okay, I'm not sure what demos we have left. Oh, I press the wrong button. Nine fingers, nine fingers, new demos. Ah, okay. Sleeping bag. A bit harsh, but let's go. No idea what this is. Uh, R16815. So with that, I could not have a nice looking 3.9 workbench. Well, you could. I'm not saying you can't, you could, but it might not be the speediest thing in the world. Um, yeah, it would be, yeah, as Glenson says, it would be slow. It would work uh, with 9 megabyte of RAM and a 68 or 20, but it wouldn't be fast. Um, I'm afraid when it comes to accelerators, I'm a little bit of a snob, speed snob. Um, I really have very little time for a 68020 to be honest. They're slow. Um, yeah, they're just slow really. If you want um, a quick Amiga, you have to have at least a 68030. I know people will argue with me that you don't, but yeah, you do. Oh, there you go. Glenson's got a 12333 and it's slow. There you go. Well, what uh, megahertz is that, Glenson? Forty. Oh, I'm surprised three point nine is slow on a no f on a um, forty megahertz O thirty. I would have thought that should be reasonably. Usably okay. I mean, at 1230 at 40 megahertz, you're sort of approaching the speeds where Doom is almost playable. And it's not super slow, but it's not to my satisfaction. Well, you do have very high standards, Glenson, it's fair to say. Okay, what do we got? Is that it in the demo? What's hideous thingamabobs? Hideous mutant freaks. That sounds like my kind of demo. Release 1.3. Going back to the olden days. Who? Oh. <laughs> Indeed, says Glenson. Oh, 
I'm a vamp owner, says Glenson. Yeah. Well, I'm afraid once you've used a vampire in the Amiga, um, you, you very quickly get used to the speed, and anything else is a bit of a letdown. Unless you've got a fast air 60, I suppose. Cheese. Is that is that moon cheese? <laughs> okay, I'll do it sending me bloody crazy all these videos. These um Flashing lights and what have you. Let's play something. Look, don't be so fast. There you go. Let's play something nice. What can we play? Oh, Star Wars. Remember Star Wars? That's him, and Shinobi. And Shinobi. Let's try that Shinobi. Flange cheese, says Glenson. I don't know what flange cheese is. Is that cheese that's on your flange? You should know be one of those funny ones that don't won't work on a 1200. Try that one. No, <laughs> same. Uh, John Gino, made from growler milk. What the hell is growler milk? Oh, Shinobi don't like it. Shinobi! Shadow of the Beast. What beautiful music, such a crap game. Refused to breathe that out, Glenson. That was a disgusting. <laughs> Reflections. This is a beautiful music. Beautiful Amiga music. Why the Amiga didn't rule the world, I do not know. Interlaced images, does it? Ah, uh, sixteen eight one five. Are there any? Are there many amig conventions in the UK that you go to? Yes, there are at least. Uh, two or three a year um, uh, I'm sorry I'm pressing the buttons there are at least two or three a year that are run by Ami Bay if you're um, if you're on, Am on Ami Bay turn the mouse off um, 
so yeah, Ami Bay do run two or three a year, and uh, me, me and a few pals, we go to the odd event as well. We went to the Blackpool retro event, um, whenever that was, a couple of months ago. And that was very good, very good. Met some of the uh, Commodore guys there. Uh, David Pleasance, the Commodore di uh, Managing Director, was there. Um, yeah, it was great, excellent. Uh, John Gino, are you going to Manchester? Oh, he's taking this too. Am I going to Manchester? I don't think so. What day is that, John? I'm coming, there's, um, I'm going to Germany soon for the Amiga 32. Um, in Neuss in Germany which is the end of next month um, so that'd be good I know a lot of the Commodore guys are there the original some of the original engineers are going um, Sat Sunday uh, Sat Sunday October the 14th all right, okay. This game was garbage. Um, am I going to it? Sunday, October the 14th. Probably not, in truth. Um, yeah, probably not. Which one is it? Is it the retro replay, that one, or the the other one? Oh, I don't know how you get off the ladder. How does he get off the ladder? Oh, it's a rubbish game, anyway. Swiv. Um, retro play, okay. Press mouse button to start. Okay, I shall. Oh, bit of corruption there. Uh, it's got a girlfriend now, so no time for the mega stuff. Uh, well, that's partly true, but I always have time for a mega stuff, regardless of. Um Oop. A bit of glitchy there. Is this an OCS game? I think it is, isn't it? Oop. Don't get me, I'm shooting. Uh, John Gino, I thought the Amiga was his girlfriend. <laughs> well, Amiga does mean girlfriend, doesn't it? Or girl companion, or female companion, or whatever it is. Wait, you leave my chopper alone. Okay. Well, I have to say, in all fairness, this is pretty good. It does work well. Paperboy 2. I never knew there was such a thing as Paperboy 2. Uh, she hates your Amigas. No, she doesn't hate them. No, she's fascinated in my interest oh, in stuff that she has no concept of. <laughs> what are you doing, computer? Okay, Paperboy 2 from Mindscape. Never heard of it. Oh, 10 Gen, 1992. Let's turn the mouse off. Easy Street. Ooh. What's with the Sinclair Spectral logo down the stairs? That side. But she does not like them. Oh, I would say she dislikes them. Ooh. Oh, I've seen this before. Oh. Yeah, nice driving there. Nice driving, kid. You'll go far in the world of paper delivery services. This is. Can you go on the curb? Why can't you go on the curb? Uh, pavement, rather. 
Oh, you got to go through the gaps. It's hard to believe, but the first game was awful. Oh, I'm trying to get the scarecrow. Get the old folks. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Get these young punks. Hmm. No concept of it. Is she only 25? No, she's not. She's my age. She knows of Commodore. She remembers Commodore. But I don't think... I think she remembers the C64. But not the... Um... Oi! Ooh! Scarecrow's after me. But I don't think she remembers the Amiga. I think she has one of those families that went from the C64 to the, uh, didn't bother for a while and went to the PC later, I suppose. But girls aren't interested in computers, are they? As a rule. Nice driving. And there's very few girls interested in computing. Go on. Oh, come on. Ah. Oof. What a particularly boring game this is. Oi. Bloody hooligans. Take it back, I don't mind this. It's a bit slow. Oof. Ooh, pig roast. Yeah. Oh, the pig's still alive. That's not right. And the rights people will be on in there. What? Idiot. Uh huh. Uh, ooh. Look at that for driving. That's pollution, that is, that white car. Must be a German car with all the diesel emissions. Be a Volkswagen. Oop. Oh, come on. Ooh. For sale. It's an unusual house. A big hole. There's a lot of pig rows going on. Oh, that way. Well done. Yes. I am truly awesome. Can't make games like this anymore with political correctness. Oh. Uh huh. Get down, Shep. Oop. Oh. Oop. Look at that baby go. Oh, come on. Referee. That game is awful. I've never played that before. I hope I never play it again. Moonstone, a hard day's night. Lamborghini load runner. A cat from the desert, one of my favourites. I don't know. Oh, ghosts. Who was on about ghosts and ghouls? Oof. Hopefully it won't load. Looks like it's loaded. No, no, no. This game does not work on all Amigas due to bad coders. What? No. Unlimited lives. I might need that. Oh. Okay. Uh, can't make ooh, games like this anymore. <laughs> yeah, funnily enough, Mel Brooks was talking about um, political correctness in comedy, wasn't he, today? Saying that the films that made him famous couldn't be made in this day and age due to the, the uh, due to the content. 
I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Ghosts and ghouls. Oh no, ghouls and ghosts. Software creations. Punched. Press fire. Okay, I shall. Uh, so, I think it's fair to say the Armiga does what it says on the tin. It emulates an A500 reasonably well. Uh, even Mrs. Doubtfire came under criticism, really. Really? It's Doubtfire. That's where it's dressed as, um, dressed as the lady, isn't it? Mrs. Doubtfire. Isn't he going through a divorce or something? Oh, I don't remember this. I do not remember this. Oh, I can shoot up. <laughs> I can shoot up. Hey! Bet you can. Are you a buddy? I don't remember this at all. I thought it was a side scrolling. Oh. What's that? I don't remember this. What's this all about? I have no, 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 no memory of this at all. Aha, uh -huh, gotcha. Well, I'm going to play the Space Invader music. Oh no, now I can go. Okay. Horizontal shooting. Oh, be quite, uh, not horizontal, di diagonal, I mean. Have I started it on the. Um... Yeah, I must have done something funny and started it off on a very strange level. Um. Must be offensive to cross-dressing old ladies. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Doubtfire. Yeah, I don't know. God knows what's going on with the world. I really don't know. Heaven forbid. Oh, that's a lot of empty discs. When I was a kid, cross-dressing, didn't know what that was. I thought that was just someone who was bad-tempered getting dressed, a cross-dresser. But... Uh, I don't know. There was. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know. This is another favourite. Not a favourite, but 1987. That's quite old. Activision. Activision. I thought it was Cinemaware. Why did I think that? Don't know. Cause I'm a knob. Don't need a mouse, get off. So clearly they were copying Cinemaware, weren't they? That's none of the Cinemaware team, as far as I know. You're going to tell me wrong now, it's going to come as Cinemaware, isn't it? I'm an expert. I probably am an expert. Uh, plush, push, plush. Throttle takeoff. Okay, what have I got to do? I've not played this in any. Well, I'm keeping my finger on the fire button, I don't need to. Racing cars in the air. Don't. Ooh. Between the legs of the girl with the short shorts on or something. Something like that. Oh, come on. Of course. Of course. <laughs> um, 
it looks nice it was a pretty game back in its day very pretty it looked nice on in most amiga stuff looks nicer in crts or on a crt than it does on uh, modern tvs look at that disc access go you go baby uh level one event two push throttle for takeoff i've got to get to the end in one minute thirty let's go do it now because I'm awesome. I know what I'm doing. Oi! Bloody cheat. 1987. 1987. I just, I just left school in 87. I left school in late in... Yeah, 87. I left school in 1987. I started work in January 1988 now, my mum bought me an Amiga Ooh. because I got a full time job I think and she bought it in February don't hit that plane 1988 so I just left school when this was made I don't remember there being two qualifying races. Um, my Dell monitor takes 15 kilohertz signal, says R16815, so don't need to spend 70, 120 quid on a scan doubler. Uh, should be getting. Uh, right, okay. Uh, VGA RGB adapter from a guy who sells on eBay. Okay. Oh, I'm not doing another one. Yeah, you, yeah, you don't. In fact, you don't need to do that. You can buy. That's HDMI, isn't it? If you've got a HDMI TV, you can buy one of the cheap SCART to art to um, HDMI converters that some knobs putting stickers on on eBay and selling it as an Amiga upscaler. Uh, but you can buy just the, the one without the silly sticker on it for about £25. And that will upscale the RGB to HDMI, which will allow you to run it on any TV. Um, but there's someone on eBay selling them with, a, uh, with an Amiga sticker on there, and he wants £70 or £80 for them. Flight past 7. Right, I'm going to put this on purely because it's a piece of shit. And I bought this. Now, I think it was a budget game. In fact, I'm almost sure it was. 1987. And it was awful. Oh, God, yeah, I remember. Oh, God, it's hideous. Everything about it. Oop. Okay. Uh, is it mouse only? Yeah. A solo flight. Training certificate. Let's do a solo. Here we go. Now the window from the cockpit is just a static screen. It's awful. There's no point playing this because the controls are all on the keyboard. But yes, yeah, I'm marvelling how bad this is. I wonder if, what it's written in. It must be Amos or something. It's dreadful, dreadful game. Let's see if flashback works. What time is it? Twenty past nine. Did try this last night, it wouldn't load, would it? So I, but I've downloaded it again. You guys remember playing Flashback on the Amiga? Look at that, that's awesome, isn't it? I thought these graphics were cool. Though it does slow down a bit. When the spaceship gets big, it does slow, the frame rate drops. There we go. Uh, Glenson, coded on it yesterday. Good man. What did you do, Glenson? Anything exciting? 
Most I ever did on Amiga was get my name to come up on screen and flash different colours. Well, back in the day, I've made a couple of games since, but... Um, okay, mouse off. Start. Uh, we'll have a quick go at that, and I think this will do for tonight. I'll have a drink, chill out a bit, and then it's bedtime. Out tomorrow night at the Razzle Dazzle. Out for a meal at the posh restaurant. Well, they'll serve you tiny bits of food and charge lots of lots of money for it. So that'd be nice. Amiga, what are you doing? Talk to me, Amiga. Seem to have flashed back. Whoever flashed back. Oh, no, balls. Press the wrong button now. All right, one more. Oh, Dragon's Lair. God, go on then, just for the novelty value. Oh, the game had a code wheel on it. Yes, that's right. Uh, after killing the dragon on disc 8, it will wait for disc 6 without displaying the disc item. Just put disc 6 in. And how the hell are you supposed to know that? Ooh, Infinite Lives Dragon's Lair movie. Oh, I want to see the movie. Let's see the movie. No, it's going to want loads of discs. Uh... Just have normal. It's a crap game anyway. If it loads, the hell is it doing? Yeah, that's right, Glenson. It had a um, start code on it yesterday. That's right. You're dead right. Don't it work on 1200s? Oh, shit. And I go back. Go back, I say. Good boy. <clears throat> Commando, Chicago, Chess HQ, Capone. Did Capone load? Didn't, did it? Let's go back to 500. Oh, switch to 12. Oh, we're on 500. Oh, are we? Load me Capone then. Stop messing about. Uh, you need to do a top 10 live stream. I could do a top 10 live stream. That's not a problem. What do you mean, my top 10, Glenson? Or top 10, like, Lemon Amiga or something? Oh, that's right. The red power light flashes. It's throwing a wobbly. I don't know what my top 10 would be, to be honest. I'll have to have a think about it. Yeah, you did. Uh, all right, okay. R16. Uh, workbench Pong. In C, but I want to do some more. Well, you you sent me that, didn't you? Um, the Pong game. I haven't tried it yet, but I will. In fact, I'll probably pop it on here. Uh, Glenson, my top ten. Oh, God, that's pressure. Uh, I'd probably have to do... What would I have to do? BMX Simulator, that's um, Codemasters. Um, the Kent team in the UK. Um, my top ten. Can you think of anything more 1980s than a BMX Simulator? Amazing. Press space, N, S to start. I can't do any of those things. Can with my secret keyboard. S to start. Where's that? Oh, no, S. Please wait a few moments. I'd have to give some serious thought as to what my top ten would be. What's happening? It, don't tell me it's keyboard only. Let me press this note. It can't be mouse. No. Oh. Um. For the fat kids. 
to get the BMF feel. BMF, oh, BMX feel, for the fat kids to get the BMX feel, yeah. Awful, I hated it, it was a garbage game. See, I'd probably play Balance of Power and Defend of the Crown back in those days, rather than any of this stuff. Insert Alien 3 to play insert insert disc one into DFO. Well it's only on one disc, what are you talking about? What you talking about? I can't do that. Oh, disc one, are you? You're a tit, aren't you? I am a tit. <laughs> Unlimited lies, unlimited tries. No. Oh, go on then. Uh, In-game keys, yeah, if you like. Virgin Games. Ooh, that's fast. Twentieth century, twentieth century Fox presents Mayhem. Oh, yeah. I don't remember her being outside in Alien Three. She was inside a penal colony, wasn't she? It's in space, isn't it? Oh, it wasn't. Yeah, okay. I don't think so. Oh, oi! Oi, pack it in! Bloody things! Uh huh. Oh. Come on, Rippers. See, what I don't get is in the Alien film, the first Alien film, you couldn't shoot the Alien, could you? Because it bled acid and it leaked, uh, leaked through the spaceship, so they couldn't shoot it. Oh. Sorry, mate. Did I go through the door? Uh, but in all the other Aliens films, they machine gunned it, blew it up. So I never quite understood that, to be honest. Wait, pack it in. You bloody jumper. -er. I never liked this game. When it was new, I never liked it. Okay, rippers. Uh -huh. See, if they climbed up the stairs, that would scare you a bit. Oh, ah, vent. Are you, uh, ah, you are, you're in the vents. Alien isolation on the Amiga. different director. I think Alien 1 was the only one in the collection for me. Well, Alien 1 was directed by Ridley Scott. Aliens was James Cameron of Titanic fame. Alien 3 was... God only knows. Uh, but Alien um, Resurrection, the new one, has gone back to Ridley Scott again. Prometheus was Ridley Scott. So it's supposed to go back to its roots a bit. Well, I can't go up. That's a bit annoying, isn't it? That's pants. I hated it then, I hate it now. Fifth gear. Alien breed. Go on then. Hey hoy, hey ho. After some hours of hard wor work, we. Pre oh, shut up. How'd you make it go? F1, in-game keys, space, no, enter, no, escape, no, oof, 
It's got to be mouse, hasn't it? There we go. Hold on for some more. Alien Brood by Team 17. Cracked by Tom. FLT UK. What's that? Fast and light. If you're interested in buying some Magicoms, what's a some Magicom? Please write to FLT UK. Please include, include a daytime. Phone number. Uh, P.O. Box 2416. I wonder if it's still active. I might write to them. Ah. High res. Don't like high res. Starring Andreas Tadrick. Tadic. Cool. <laughs> Press fire now to preview. We notice that is, are there eyes there above the nostrils? Well, see, the alien didn't have eyes, did it? The alien alien. Come on, alien alien. I was never really good at this game either. Player one, health is low. Insert disc two. Look, don't be telling me what to do. I might insert disc two if I like. Shut up. Two. I have. I already have done. Don't be so cocky. off be gone shuttle bay 2 deck 1 hmm wonder what happened in shuttle bay 1 deck 1 I guess we'll never know Hello, Lemmikin, kin, kin, kin. I can't say your name, Lemmin Akin. How are you, sir? Please forgive my butchering of your name. Now what? What are you loading for? Game over. Oh, that's alright. That's a good start. Fine, sir. Good man. Start game. Sell all your Amigas and become a Call of Duty Xbox gamer. <laughs> ah dear. Well, yeah. There's a couple of issues there. Uh, I don't have an Xbox anymore. Well, I've got a 360 somewhere. Uh, and I can't stand Call of Duty. I'm much better at Amiga games. <laughs> well, that's a bug in the game, isn't it? Or a bug in something. Okay. One more, one more, one more, one more. Backlash. Beverly Hills Cop. No. Let's have a look. For the hell of it. Uh... Press space bar to start. Remove right protect. Okay, I will. Let's press that space bar. Space bar pressed. Uh, it's what all the kids are doing these days, unfortunately. Is it? What have I done now? I pressed the wrong button, have I? Where's, um... Oh, God. How do you resume? Oh, there you go. Keyboard off. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, kids are stupid. Yeah. Is your Vampire 600 back in business? Uh, my Vampire 600 is back with Igor. I uh, should be receiving it any day now. Uh, but I do have a Vampire 500 now, which I'll be popping into my... What's it doing? I wonder if one of the keys is stuck. Uh, I'll be popping it into a 2000 soon. Enter difficulty level 1 to 3. Well, 3 I should think. No, no my... Uh... My very high skill level, three. Uh, yeah, I'll be slipping in a 2000. I'll also be popping it in a uh, 1000 as well. Come on back, Axel. Oh, God, this is shite. Oh, you're a bit of a whiz with the old pistol. Duck down? You can't duck down. Oh, you can lay down. Dead, I presume. Uh, sold my 2000 ECS a couple of weeks ago. Ah, oh, okay. Uh, it, well, the 2000 is still... Oh, you can kneel down. Come on, Axel. Yeah, the 2000 is still probably... One of my favourite Amigas. It's great. I love it. I love the 2000. This game is um, the pits, man. It's awful. I can't handle them. That's too bad. Let's handle on something that's nice. <laughs> Let's watch the intro of this and that'll do. Um, oh, for God's sake. To complete a mission, you must return to the frigate. Okay. Electronic arts. Come on, electronic arts. Get on with it. Return to the Gulf. Gets no better. Uh, this or Jungle Strike? Uh, purely for nostalgia, probably this. Because I played this more. Uh, I had this one. Um, I had this one first, obviously. I don't think I got Jungle Strike until much later. And by then... Um, by then, yeah, the novelty had worn off a little bit. Yeah. Said, so, Desert Strike, Saddam to the rescue. Come on, Saddam. Uncle Saddam. Lemmikin didn't like these at all. Well... Oh, I don't remember it doing that. I've okay, down. never seen this before. Blow me. I used to have a ripped version of this back in the day. And it did... No oh, bollocks. Um, do that. Did not do that. Excellent. Yeah, the disc loading music is good. You run it there. Very good. Uh, so yeah, so I've got a, a Vampire 500 now. So I'll, I'll, I'll slip that into the um, 1000 at some point. But the chances are it's going to live in the 2000. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Tie it down.
The madman built his reputation by showing no mercy and keeping people in fur coats. It's supposed to be... where is that? That was narrow, is it? Here we go, kids. Start campagna. Let's go. My um, no, I remember this. My nieces used to have this on the um, Genesis on the Mega Drive. It had no speech, and um, the music wasn't as good. I think the graphics were pretty much the same. But uh, the Amiga version was much, just much more enjoyable. Although he didn't have any of this, to be fair. stream has been start running an hour, has it? Okay. Let's go. Let's get Saddam. Weapons are armed. Are they? Come on. There we go. Hi guys. What's happening boys? You alright? Good, good, good. Oop. Some shooting going on. Oop. Who's shooting you? Over here. Yeah, all right. Over here. Yeah, all right. Shut up. Bloody Americans! Don't shut up. There we go. Presumably, I can't change weapons now. Well, it's easier with a joypad. It's much nicer. The um, <coughs> joystick used to be hideous. I've not got a keyboard plugged in, so, um, so I can't put the map on. Over here. Who said that? Over here. Who said that? Who said that? Cooey. Here somewhere, aren't you? There you are. Right, shut up. Okay, let's head back to ship. That'll do. See, I can't put the map on and I can't change weapons. We find our guys on the beach. That's in line with the ship, isn't it? Oh, I was just about to turn back. So we can drop drop by this uh, set of guys off. Okay, guys. Run free. Oh, 
Now I'm going to tap in your foot. I'm going to machine gun the lot of you. Bloody swines. Saddam's in the car. Is he? Quick, let's get him. You in there, Saddam? You need fuel soon. Yeah, I will. I won't last that long. Ammo should be nearly out. That's broadcasting Sky TV. Get rid of that. Bloody rubbish. Lovely. Yeah, I did. I have spent hours on this over the years. Back in the day. Yeah, all right. Smart ass. Anyway, I don't want to play that. So that'll do, guys. I think we've had a bit of fun with the Armiga today. It seems to work fine. Um. I'm out tomorrow night, and her indoors will be over for the weekend, so that'll be it till next week, I suspect, streaming-wise. So thank you very much for your time and company this evening, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Have a pleasant evening, and thank you very much. Warning. Warning. <laughs>